NVIDIA's next generation GPU is pictured. Threadripper is up for pre-order and we've got some performance metrics on the 32 core behemoth. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMelt. Before we get started, I'm so pumped to announce the long-awaited release from Mastrop's collaboration project with Sennheiser, the HD58X. A successor to Sennheiser's first-in-class HD580 headphones, the HD58X is an audiophile's dream, and at just $150, it's able to outclass headphones at over twice the price. And while this is a sponsor, I'm serious. If you don't believe me, check out what the experts had to say. If you're interested, Definitely check those out before they're sold out in the description below. Now let's get into the news. We finally have our first image of Nvidia's next generation GPU today. The card was released during Max Sun's presentation at China Joy, a pretty huge game developer conference in China. For those who don't know, Max Sun is one of Nvidia's partners in China. When it comes to the card, you can see it's their iCraft series, which is their high-end series that their Z370 chipset was launched with. Back to the card, you can see they're teasing this to be the next generation. Now, some users think this could just be their next generation shroud design, but usually those only come with next gen GPUs anyway, and their Z370 was launched with the name. Not only that, but we only got this image, not a name, extra confirmation on the 11 or 20 series or anything. And that really leads me to believe this is clearly for Nvidia's next generation, since they obviously can't reveal anything else given they're still under NDA. Otherwise, I'm sure they would have mentioned way more. When it comes to the image itself, you can see it's not a bad looking card with RGB elements on the top and front. As well as a pretty clear image, this is going to be a single 8 pin connector card. Basically, while this doesn't give us much, it's pretty heavy proof that Nvidia's next gen cards are coming really, really soon. Next up for today, it looks like video cards recent leak on Threadripper's specs and box are in fact really accurate as AMD has officially announced all their cards. Also, Newegg and Amazon have the 32 core Threadripper on their site for pre-order. You can check that affiliate link out in the description below. And as you can see, the chips are in fact called the 2990WX, 2970WX, 2950X, and 2920X. The 2990WX is being released on the 13th of this month, with the 2950X coming the 31st and the other two CPUs coming in October. Also, it's now been shown that video card's statement of the X series being for quote enthusiasts and gamers was accurate as well, at least according to AMD's marketing material. When it comes to specs, they're also the same as the leak, with the 32 core CPU having a base clock of 3 GHz and a boost of 4.2. It also has a TDP of 250 watts. One thing we haven't fully seen before now is its cache. Well, this CPU is packing 64 megabytes of L3 cache and an unbelievable 12 megabytes of L2 cache. That's seriously impressive there. As for the box, it's as cool as any of the leaked images, with a tray that comes down to reveal the CPU. I mean, this is something you'd find in like a sci-fi game or something, I swear. Very cool design. Lastly is the price, and it's exactly what we thought at $1,799. And of course, that certainly sounds like a lot, but we're talking a 32 core CPU here. Remember that just a couple years ago, that's what a 10 core CPU would cost. As I said earlier, pre-orders have begun. So if you're interested in picking one up, check out the affiliate link in the description below. Today's final story gives us a look at Threadripper's performance, and it's pretty insane. Coming from AMD's own marketing material, the company is touting an average Cinebench score that's 53% faster than Intel's i9-7980XE. Now, some users are keen to point out that we're talking double the cores for 50% more performance, but remember that this is a price point metric. The i9-7980XE is actually more expensive than the upcoming 2990WX, yet has 50% less performance in that benchmark. When it comes to others, AMD was 47% faster in POV RAID, 35% on Corona, and 39% on Blender. Of course, these numbers may look even better for AMD when manually overclocked, but reviews will have to tell us for sure. Also, remember that the positive of a higher clock comes into play when a piece of software can't fully utilize all the cores of the given CPU, so you can't expect these score differences in every benchmark. Of course, if you're a professional who can utilize all these cores, this is looking to be an absolute buy. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Ready to finally get a hold of Nvidia's next gen cards? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the HD58X, you can find that link in the description below. And as always, have a great day. <laughs>